Hi, my name is Danielle Procopio and I'm your host for Active Aging. Active Aging is a show where we talk about different resources you can find here in the Valley to make it a little, a little bit easier as we age. I'm very excited today. Uh, we are at St. Joe's at the Eastwood Mall and I am joined by Shirley Lisk. Shirley, thank you so much for having us today. Oh, you're quite welcome. I'm glad to do it for you. Very good. And I, I have to tell you, first of all, congratulations because in October you were recognized as one of the Valley Legacy Award winners. Quite an honor, yes. Absolutely. And well deserved. And I'm excited that we're going to get to spend our time today talking a little bit about what you do here at St. Joe's, which is why you were awarded. Thank you. Um, well, first of all, let me thank you for coming and, and being able to highlight our services. I think we're one of the uh, most secretive uh, places, but yet when people find out what, what we do here, they're all about it. Uh, we've been here now going on 14 years, St. Oh, Joe's wow. at the Mall. We're outreach of St. Joseph Health Center, uh, and we started that way uh, 14 years ago. And, and Shirley, you've been here since day one, correct? Right, right. I, I was blessed to start it. <laughs> <laughs> and I know that you used to be in another spot here in the mall, so right. um, if we're coming to the mall and we want to check the space out, it's right by the Sears entrance. Right, Sears you have right. your own entrance that's at the back of the mall, back by the, by, on the back side of Target by Sears, so if we want to come find you, that's where we're right. going to find you. I always, always say we're to the right of the driver's exam station, because a lot of people know where that is, behind Sears, and, as well as behind Target. Perfect. And it's a good spot to be, because there's a nice entrance. We have handicapped parking parking and good parking right there and they can come right in and, and come into our site. Very good. And what hours are you here? Uh, we're open Monday, Wednesdays and Fridays, okay. 8 to 5.30 okay. and Tuesdays and Thursdays, 8 to 4.30. No Perfect. weekends or no evenings at this time. Okay, very good. Well, tell us a little bit about what we can find here at St. Joe's at the Mall and, and what you guys are all about. Very good. Uh, like I said, we started as, a, as an outreach, a community outreach of St. Joseph's Warren Hospital. Back then it was St. Joseph's Health Center. And our focus is the mission of, uh, of Mercy Health, and it's to carry on the healing ministry of Jesus to the poor and underserved. Well, when we started, we were a health and, and fitness, uh, I should say a health and wellness site. We do a lot of health screenings, health education, uh, health referrals, uh, so that we can give people an understanding of what's going on with their, their regular uh, physical health. Uh, from the health screening standpoint, we were doing, we do right now blood pressures, uh, we do blood sugar screenings, we do carotid uh, and abdominal aortic aneurysm screenings, we do what's called a peripheral vascular disease screening, uh, we do our blood sugar screenings, so all of those different screenings help people to understand and become more of an informed consent kind of person who knows what's going on sure. with their numbers. And our, uh, and our nurses that help and do that, we have retired nurses. We, I have one uh, staff nurse, but we have retired nurses to help out with that. And it's a, then we can do education with the people. Uh, we can let them know what their numbers mean, uh, know what they have control of, what they don't have control of. We can uh, get to the point where we can show them, take this to your doctor and show your doctor where your average is over these months that you come here. And so it becomes a, a really good point of contact between the physician and the patient, and they know their overall health so that they can plan better for their medications and different things like that that they have to do. That's great. From a lifestyle uh, standpoint, we, we have a dietitian who's here on Fridays, and uh, some of the things that we, uh, she does is uh, boot camps uh, to, to, for weight management. She also does nutritional assessments. So that's some of the things that we can't and can control, and she can talk about that. Uh, we then started probably about, uh, you said we were in another spot. Actually, we were down by the food court, which is uh, way down uh, the other end of the mall here. And uh, at that time, there wasn't a food court. And Mr. Cafaro came by and said, we're going to have to move you. We, <laughs> we went in there in August, and we're going to move you to another spot. Well, this spot here was YSU's Metro College. Mm -hmm. Back in 2000, they used this. And it was, it was ideal for us because it gave us room for expansion. Uh, we then started a fitness program based on that uh, opportunity to expand. Uh, I had always wanted to do something with osteoporosis. We were doing a lot of bone density screenings, and we still do. I think I left that one out. 
And one of the things with, with uh, osteoporosis, strength training has been proven to be helpful with people who have uh, fracture fragility and things like that. That sure. really are, is, is a tough um, a condition to have. But if you build muscle around the bone, it prevents falls and, and, and prevents fractures that way. So we started a fitness program. It was with 10 little machines and a fitness trainer who then did a pre-testing and uh, post-testing on people. Uh, we did their height, their weight, their body fat, their blood pressure, and their balance. And then we took them through the machines and prescribed a workout. Oh, great. And then after they, at this program that we started, it was 12 weeks was free. And then we still do it. It was called a Strong Bones, Strong People program. Uh, after that, they're allowed to then uh, use the equipment like a member would. Uh, and if there was a fee associated with it, they would have to uh, pay that. And then the post-testing, though, showed us that there was a lot of good improvement. Good. But then people came in and they said, well, you know, I don't have osteoporosis, but I do have a, a weight management problem. Sure. Is there something I can do? Uh, I want to get on the machines and do that. So we started uh, strength training, uh, weight management through strength training. And we did the same thing but we would pre-test them and post-test them. Our goal is outcomes. We don't mm -hmm. want somebody just to think they're coming into a gym or they're coming in to get their blood pressure and not know what it's all about or sure. not know what their outcomes are for doing what they're, uh, they're going to be doing here. And so that way, what's nice about it is people see uh, improvements and they see uh, you know, uh, things that are happening to them because of their involvement in what they're doing. So I, I think that's why uh, it becomes a, uh, you know, a community kind of thing where people are saying, gee, you should go here because this is what happened to me mm -hmm. and, and, and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. My, now we even have doctors referring them saying, go do your, get your blood pressure done over at St. Joe's so that I can know what your numbers are in, outside of the office. Or we have people that are, are finished with physical therapy and they want to maintain on certain machines and stuff. So we have that. It's kind of tertiary care, we call sure. it. Sure. But that was, the, that was the start back probably in 2010 when we uh, d developed that program. Now, eight years later, we, have, um, we started out with about... Um, uh, 2,400 square feet to now we have 6,700 square feet. Oh my feet. gosh. We expanded twice. Uh, we now have 40 machines out of from the little 10 machines that we have. Uh, we have a strength room and we have a cardio room. Uh, we have a fitness uh, or exercise physiologist that works with us. Uh, we have one who's here four days a week, uh, Lana Eddy Camfield, and then we have another gentleman, Travis Springer, who's here one day a week. And every every person that comes to our site then and uses our, our fitness area gets the same process, their height, their weight, their body fat, their blood pressure, and their balance, and then it takes them through the machines and prescribes a workout for them. So wow. we're, we're working on the outcomes. And that's and that's just that's just a part of us. I mean, we yeah. we started probably um, back about uh, ten years, eight to ten years ago, uh, with the silver sneakers program, and then we have silver and fit, and we have Optum Fitness. But with that, we have we had to add different exercise classes. Mm -hmm. So that meant uh, what we're going to do with that. So then we started a class on uh, where silver sneakers. It was a, a the classic, which is seated or standing, mm -hmm. and they use balls, stretch bands, and hand weights. And the instructor takes them through a series of exercises. Then we did a cardio class. Then we did uh, a cardio jam class, which we call it's kind of a jazzer side. Then we did Zumba. Somebody wanted to do Zumba. Then we did Tai. <laughs> Chi, and then we wanted, then we went to yoga, floor yoga, and then we went to chair yoga. And the last group that we really, oh well, I, I shouldn't say we we did, we started another uh, exercise class called drums and muscles, and then we uh, just started a new one called stepping to the oldies of step aerobics. Then uh, what happened was we just got all of these classes going, and so we outgrew our spot as far as some of the classes inside. Mm -hmm. Now we're doing them out in the front of the mall. Oh, how uh, wonderful. Yeah, and we do a lot of, like our Monday, Wednesday, and Friday cardio class. It's 8.30 in the morning. We have anywhere from 50 to 60 ladies and gents oh, that come wow, out and surely. do that. In the Zumba class, that moved out there. That's on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 8.15. Now we've got 20 to 30 people that come in for that. 
our, our silver sneakers classes and all those groups, they become very connected. Mm -hmm. uh, it's more of a community. You, you know, you deal with seniors all the time and it's like that, you know. this uh, We have people who are widows or widowers mm -hmm. that just lost family and now they found a family. Uh, there's a couple people whose families are out of town. This is their family. Uh, and so we kind of connect that way with them. Uh, if we see somebody who's missing for a while, yeah. we're looking out what, what happened there. If somebody, uh, you know, has had an accident or has gone to the hospital, get well cards are all sent mm -hmm. out. It becomes, a you know, that kind of group yeah. of people that you know, just love to and be around. And that's so wonderful to hear that not only are you worrying about these people physically and mm -hmm. making sure that we're taking good care of them and that they're taking good care of themselves and their bodies, but also socially because right. uh, we do know that as you age you know social isolation can be just as damaging as smoking you know yes. research has shown us that so um, it's so great to hear that there's that social piece here at the mall as well right. uh, and that you know your clients are receiving the, the social benefits of all your programming too and they love it too um, like we just set up uh, what days that we're going to do Christmas parties and you know the, <laughs> the ugly Christmas sweater kind of contest type of things and and they just have fun with it um, um, I try to stay a little bit away from all the party kind of food and stuff like that and try to do the healthy thing. Uh, but uh, they still, they just love be, uh, sharing with each other that way. We do some programs that are really interesting too, uh, our talk with the docs. Uh, that's where our local physicians, like from Mercy Health and that, and some of our residents will come once a month and do a, a program on various subjects. Um, oh, wow. Uh, and it's a good health uh, related programs. We serve a little uh, healthy lunch for two dollars, which is you know a nice little Subway sandwich and some yogurt and, and you know some veggie chips and all that good stuff. But the people really get the information right from the doctor. Mm -hmm. And normally, like the health promotions months are what we look at. Uh, last month we talked about health prevention and health screenings. What are good for you? What's the preventions that you do? This month we're doing on the obesity epidemic. Uh, so there's a lot of different things that go on uh, throughout the year and people can come in and listen to the doctor and ask them questions. One of the fun things that we do with the doctors is called Walk with the Doc. And we do that once a month on our first Friday. And we ask anybody can join that. Anybody mm -hmm. can do any of our programs. There's no limitation as far as age group or Great. anything like that. Uh, but the walk with the doc is on the first Friday and we have our local doctors come in and they'll speak to them about five minutes about a subject. Mm -hmm. uh, and then they walk the mall with them, do oh, a whole fun. lap around. And they'll talk to them, and they'll you know can ask questions right there. And the doctors love it because they get to you know to interact with the people uh, a little bit better in a social as aspect as as opposed to an office aspect. Sure. And uh, we always give a, a a couple incentives like there's some nice walk with the doc T-shirts and pedometers and stuff like that. So those are the the fun kind of things. And then we also you know whenever there's a uh, a need in the community for information and things like that. We will uh, run programs on that. We're just doing the Medicare uh, enrollment mm -hmm. kind of stuff. So we're always gonna do something in that area. And it, in where I find uh, that our connection is, is that when I talk to the people and what they need, and so we look at their needs and we say, okay, this is what they need. Yeah. Let's bring somebody in. Somebody said, uh, I'm afraid of walking out in the mall or, or doing something. So we brought in a, a, a lady called D uh, Damsel in, in Defense. Oh, and yeah. it, was a, it was a self uh, defense uh, program for women. And so that, that worked out great. They loved it. Um, so any kind of things that come up like that, uh, okay. we try to you know, implement them and get, get them started for people. Uh, as a community, too, we also offer, you know, referrals out there. So a lot of our, you know, sources, you know, people will come in, like Shepherd of the Valley mm -hmm. and different things like that. Uh, and we want them to know that there's other sources available for them for uh, whether it be housing or uh, we have our area agency on aging here at the mall, yeah. which is good for What a great relationship for you guys with them being right upstairs, right. not yes. too far, so. And, and they, and, and you know, that <clears throat> pass, their passport program, all their advocacy mm -hmm. that they do there, uh, we can refer them right up there, so it's a good thing. Um, we also, uh, if there's different vendors that uh, come in 
to the mall, we, we reach out to them and let them know that we have services here. Every other month we, uh, we do a lab express. So people oh, wow. can come and get the, uh, certain labs drawn for just $10 each and then it's sent back to their home. Uh, one of the most uh, uh, favorable one is the lipid panel, the cholesterol, and we do that twice a year. So those kind of things, uh, that helps out. Uh, we have our mama van here, and we have the bus from the hospital, and we park it out in the back here. <laughs> and uh, we, it, our, our ladies love that because it's so convenient, it's so easy, yet it's state of the art. Mm -hmm. uh, and she, they can go out there and get their, uh, their mammogram done. So everything that, you know, it's just kind of a, whatever I find <laughs> or whatever comes up, you know, <laughs> I've said to you before, and I said, you know, uh, God just put me here to do a work for him because I think that's, that's where, uh, you know, our mission is. Mm -hmm. uh, and so uh, when, I, when I start doing the things and we do this, this stuff, I, I know that it's under control because it's under his hands. We just have a, um, a little fundraiser going on for one of our, um, our, our participants, her great granddaughter has a syndrome and, and she's going to have to have surgeries and, and it's been very devastating for the family. So people will reach out and we'll, we'll donate for them for yeah. Christmas instead of you know us giving, we're going to give. How wonderful. And, yeah. and I know that was something that we talked a little bit about when I got to know you through Valley Legacy is there's so many different ways um, that you're also serving the community. It sounds like you're having a lot of different drives here, uh, you know, depending on what the needs are. Um, so it's it sounds like that's a regular occurrence here at the mall. We do, and uh, the nice thing about it is, uh, you know, the people oftentimes they come here, and we have, you know, our membership runs uh, over 600 to 700 people that come here on a regular basis. Uh, but they uh, they oftentimes want to know what I can do for the mm -hmm. community, and so when we have uh, drives for the hospital, like we do a uh, we we're a uh, adopt a school, uh, you know, for Willard School and stuff. I'll put out the basket and we'll put you know put the school supplies in there for yeah. them, and people will bring it from the hospital or from our community, and then I'll bring it up to the hospital, and then they'll give it out to the kids. Uh, when we do different other kind of uh, things for Christmas and stuff like that, uh, we'll bring it down to Warren Family Mission or something. We do a little raffle, like a, a rummage sale every year, and, and everybody brings in that stuff, and then uh, what's ever left over we'll bring down to Salvation Army and stuff like that. So, yeah, it's, it's like I say, we're a good community. The people here, they love our staff, and, and we have a great staff and great group of volunteers. I don't run it by myself. I have to have <laughs> all of the, uh, the help there, and I, and I know that's, that's the biggest thing when I get those the good people here that they want to come back and talk to. So. You have a lot going Thank on, you. Shirley, yes. my goodness. And yeah. I know it's taken some time to build all that, but um, I guess if, if I'm looking for a way to get involved at, with you here at the mall, where do I find all that information at? Okay. <laughs> where do I find out where Good. all this is going on? <laughs> well, there's there's like several places. Okay. Number one would be our Mercy Health uh, website. Okay. And if we go to Mercy Health uh, backslash Youngstown, uh, then you could look up locations on the web and then under locations just type in the zip code for here for Niles mm -hmm. 44446 It will show st. Joe's at the mall you click on that it will take us and take you to our page We'll give you all the information on there plus it has a little PDF of our calendar Oh perfect which is our regular uh, we do a regular calendar every month I keep the calendar outside in front of the store There's a little bin there or inside and then I also um, do a uh, calendar that uh, goes into the all about health issues for oh. the Tribune. And then also on the Tuesday health notes, uh, there's usually what uh, happens here. But to, to come here, like I, uh, basically anybody can come. Okay. Uh, if they are, have a certain, you know, if the classes have a, a fee associated with it, there are some, some classes that do have a fee, they would have to pay that unless uh, they uh, had silver sneakers or some of the other uh, wellness programs built into their Medicare plans. Okay. But uh, for, you know, like anybody else, uh, to use the gym, it's uh, right now it's $20 a month. Okay. Um, and like I say, it's by appointment only first with our exercise physiologist. 
uh, to do any of the classes. Usually it's a walk-in. Uh, we just have you sign a liability form, which is standard procedure for most uh, places like this. So, yeah, it's pretty open to, you know, and uh, to do the blood pressures, do the screenings, that's all part of, you know, a walk-in. There's mm -hmm. no signage or anything like that. Yeah, and you said that the screenings will rotate. So it's not that, just so everybody in our audience knows, we're not doing all of those screenings every single day. There's certain days that those screenings are going right. on. Right. And you said we're doing blood sugar, we're doing blood pressure, we're doing bone density. Which right. ones am I missing, Shirley? <laughs> we're doing peripheral vascular, which is, peripheral vascular is like uh, what they, the nurse will do is an ankle brachial index. Okay. She'll take the blood uh, systolic number of her the brachial artery and then me measure the uh, with a Doppler of the ankle. And so the the systolic of your brachial, your upper arm, should be similar to whatever the systolic of your ankle is, mm -hmm. or else there's a blood flow issue. And oftentimes, uh, people who have arterial disease. Uh, that the, the lower extremities start to get painful, especially when they walk, or uh, but yet they sit and it subsides. So those arteries are opening and there's pushing plaque against them and it causes it to be painful. But when it uh, when they sit, then they relax and then it's not so painful. So. Mm -hmm. You know, the procedure there, and that's where we come in, is the procedure to, to really help that, that intermittent claudication or the peripheral vascular disease, is to exercise. And the more you exercise, the more that pushes against the arterial wall and gets that plaque pushed away. Uh, so that's one of the things that we do with, with the blood sugars. Uh, it's just a finger stick, and okay. we do that once a month. Uh, most of those screenings are all done once a month, okay. and you'll see that on our calendar. The uh, blood pressures, though, we do Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday mornings uh, in 9 to 12, so we do those on a regular basis. More people want to know what that is than they do the others. <laughs> uh, but there, you know, most of, the, most of the screenings, like I say, are you'll get your information either sent to you or uh, right then and there. Okay. And that way you can take it back to your doctor because mm -hmm. that's what we want to do. We want to have that connection. We, you know, screening is a screening, it's not diagnostic. Mm -hmm. uh, if there is a situation where we see with a screening being abnormal, then we want them to see that at their doctor's office so the doctor can do more diagnostic tests. Mm -hmm. And are those screening results being directly sent to the physician or are they only being given to the participant? The ones that we send to the, the physician are the uh, abnormal, uh, okay. ab at AAA, the uh, abdominal aortic an aneurysm or the carotids. The others we give to the patient or the participant mm -hmm. and uh, they can take them to the, the mm -hmm. physician. But we let them know what, you know, if there is an abnormal number, they need to do something about it soon. Yeah, and I think that's one of the great things about St. Joe's at the mall is that sometimes um, it can be hard to have conversations with your physician and we're not always aware of what we should be asking or what we should be looking into. Our docs usually have a pretty good idea, right. but I feel like this makes the physician feel so much more accessible yes. to your clients. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we don't always get to have those open conversations like you're providing when um, you know they're walking with the doctor or talking with the doctor. And I think that's really important um, for your clients to be able to have those conversations. And then also when you're educating them about those screens, you know, our doctors are very busy people. They don't always have yeah. as much time as we wish they could to educate about what the blood pressure means or what does my blood sugar number mean. So I think it's really important and it's really great that you guys have taken the initiative to kind of spend some time on those numbers and explain what that means and also explain then, you know, how we can make those numbers better. And isn't that good for us? Mm -hmm. Because you and I, if I knew I have an abnormal number and I'm just going, you know, out mm -hmm. of the office with this abnormal number, not knowing what to do about right. it, uh, that's where we provide a lot of health information to. Uh, so we have, uh, I have files and files and files of information that we can give to the person if they come in and they say, you know, my cholesterol's high, what am I going to do about it? Uh, my, you know, my doctor says I, my blood sugar's up, you know, what am I going to do about yeah. it? Uh, or I've got this pain in my legs and it keeps going and coming, you know. So we can give them information that they can uh, use. And we use reputable kind of uh, sources so that we're not going to... It's not coming out of Reader's Digest 101 <laughs> or something like that. Some goofy website yeah. on the internet, right? right yes. <laughs> and, and then our nurses, you know, and our, our exercise physiologists, they're very trained. Uh, Lana, who's been with me now for about 10 years, she, uh, she worked for 22 years in cardiac rehab. And so when we working with people here, um, 
who have gone through cardiac rehab or have had heart situations and stuff like that, you know, she knows how to uh, address those uh, situations. She knows how to, what kind of program to put them on, what sure. not to put them on. And that's the, the, the art of uh, our, our center too. Uh, most of our, you know, classes, you know, it like we have probably one of the, I think the most funnest of uh, Zumba instructors, <laughs> and then we have a great silver sneakers instructor, Linda, and then Tina's our Zumba, and then the, uh, in this room here we do our cardio uh, 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 chair yoga, I should say, and we also have Maureen, who's just a great chair yoga instructor. And then we have Caroline, who's a great a yoga instructor. That's you know that's what draws people in that. And when they get to know people like that, you know that's what we're you know why we're here. You know, and I think it. Uh, I'm not here to make anything big or anything, but it's just developed that way. You mm -hmm. know, and, and what what's so excited about it is the people um, they return that. I worked for I worked in psych for like 30 years. Oh wow! <laughs> and it was very difficult to get a a positive response sometimes for all the work that we did. Mm -hmm. But here we see the you know the, the responses where people come to you all the time and say thank you, thank you, thank you because. Uh, you know, I couldn't walk down to my uh, mailbox. Now I can. Oh I, wow, uh, you know, surely. I was I I was overweight. I've lost 34 pounds since I've come here. Uh, you know, I just lost my uh, wife, and now I have a family that I can talk to and everything like that. Um, those kind of things you see, and and I you know, I know that it rewards me, and I don't you know like with this the legacy reward. I thought you know. I don't really deserve that kind of thing when it when but I do see how uh, people are rewarded uh, down the road <laughs> as you get older like I am a little bit <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> you know the longer you do something the the, the I it, as long as you're doing what you're supposed to do and that's that's our mercy health you know I'm doing what I was called to do and I think that's that's the important thing too Absolutely. And I think you've, you have built such a legacy here and you've done such great, great things and you've brought such a wonderful resource to the community. Um, and you know, and it's great to hear about the instructors and all the professionals that are working with you and alongside of you. Yeah. So you should all be very proud of what you they have are. here. They're the best. I, I, I believe that because they're working with you, Shirley. Yeah. Um, we won the best of the best for health clubs uh, with uh, Trumbull County. Uh, for oh, the how Trivium. fantastic. We've done that, uh, I think about five years now very so good that's beating out some of the the big guys you know in, right. in the area but because we have a people that like what they do here you know and and, and they like coming so I, I you know we can say we are the best of the best you are the best of the best yeah. so surely we we have only a brief moment left but if um, someone in the audience is watching and they want to get involved and they want to come out and check things out here at the mall what's the best first step for them well let me give you the phone number perfect it's 330-652-7542 uh, mm -hmm. and that's uh, answered you know throughout the day uh, that we're here uh, once again, call, stop in. If you're Perfect. in the mall, stop in. Uh, we've got the calendars. We'll give you the five cent tour. Uh, if there's something that you want to get involved with in that, uh, we'll let you know how to do about and go about that. We have a couple nice things in the mall. We do have uh, for the mall. We do have scooters that we rent. Perfect. Uh, and sometimes that's good for people that have never been here. I found mm -hmm. that, that that to be very exciting. And we sell a little bit of home medical supplies out front. Uh, Biofreeze being our big <laughs> one, you know. But other than that, stop in. Uh, you know, there we, you might not see me, but I, I can see you because we have cameras. <laughs> and uh, I'll, I'll come out and say hi Perfect. to you. Perfect. Well, I appreciate you spending this time with us today, Miss Shirley. As you're out getting your Christmas shopping done at Eastwood Mall, please take the time to stop at St. Joe's at the Mall and check out all of the resources they have here for you to get well and to stay fit. Thank you so much. Until next month, we appreciate you spending some time with us here at Active Aging.